you're somebody that's been recently diagnosed or has an inflammatory disease process and you're looking for some answers, there's not a lot of things out there, not a lot of cures for those diseases, so you're looking for something that you can do on your own. Saturated fat is probably the biggest thing that you can modify in your diet in order to make a difference. And saturated fat is found in animal foods primarily. So you're gonna find those in any of your beef, fish, chicken, poultry, uh, turkey, and then also in uh, dairy products. Right now in the United States, we are choosing a lot of omega-6 fatty acids like soybean oil, sunflower oil, oil, and corn oil as refined products. We're getting our omega-6 fatty acids from things like crackers and cookies and sweets and processed foods. And those are areas where we need to start to back away from and really make better choices. Choosing whole foods, foods that exist in their natural state, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, pastas, things like that. And then also legumes are a great source of protein and that can replace some of the saturated fat and the protein that you would eat from animal products. So shifting the ratio overall is, is what people really want to do. Now, omega-3 fatty acids can be found in things like salmon. We hear a lot about salmon and trying to choose different um, sources of protein. But choosing the, the salmon as frequently as recommended is often not practical. So we also want to try to choose uh, olive oil and cook with that versus uh, canola or corn oil and really start to look at other sources of omega-3 fatty acids and moving that up at a higher percentage in our diet and then those polyunsaturated omega-6 fatty acids that are refined like in the crackers and cookies and processed foods down in our diet. The best place to look is to uh, look on the internet or in your bookstores for literature that is written by a registered dietitian and or a medical doctor. So they're gonna have RD or MD after their name. And that literature is gonna be based in science, it's gonna be evidence-based, and it's really gonna give you the best, most sound information that you can use.